There are thousands of MMA fighters looking to live their dream. Everyone has a special and unique story to tell, like the father, who is a fighter, who also just happens to be the lead chef at Anise Tapas and Grill off Durango. Strain the pasta. Joey Ruke moved to Las Vegas with a single suitcase, $1,000 and a dream. How long on that pasta, Ray? Not this dream. Yeah, put it in a container. This pays the bills. And then give me uh, three portions worth. Joey Ruke is like many dreamers. He started out wanting to be a skateboarder, but trouble threw him a curveball. So he ended up in Oklahoma City one night on an amateur fight card. So I was like, all right, I'll go do it. I went and did it. First fight, 30 seconds, knockout. Second fight. Knockout, third fight, submission. I ended up winning all seven fights, seven and zero, oh, with only one decision, and I won the Oklahoma State title. Left with just a swollen cheek. After that success in OKC, he felt he might have a chance at a career in the cage. Something early on, even his dad doubted. He told me I couldn't couldn't fight, so I snuck in, kept training under the table, doing my thing, and. When I was 18 years old, I came into my dad's job with my first belt, and I gave it to him. Nobody doubts Ruke's passion, whether it's in the cage or kitchen. You always want to get good taste, but you want to find new, crazy ways to get to new flavors. This 26-year-old knows his MMA life is flickering. At 6-1 and one as a pro, he recently signed with Tito Ortiz and Golden Boy, hoping that this work in the kitchen becomes a hobby so that he can focus on his career in the cage. Here tonight at Combate America. All right, so wish Joey the best. He continues his career. That's kind of a unique little story with him, though, yeah. where he didn't, he, he, here, Dad, here's what I want. He didn't even know he was a fighter. <laughs> so that's kind of cool stuff. It's a busy